The vape ban in America, aren't they? Yeah, pissing in the wind, though, isn't it? I mean, yeah. it's nothing compared to Big T. It's... Uh, right, we might be kind of on a bit now. Oh, so we're behind the curtain right now. They can't <laughs> see us. Sneaking. They can't see us. I but might on. be able to start hearing us in a sec. We'll know in a second because they'll see. I need to turn We were on time. Fucking hell. Uh, was... Right, we might be um, kind of on a bit. Oh, yeah. so we're behind the curtain right now. They can't <laughs> see us. Sneaking. They can't see us. I but might on. be able to echo. There we go. Uh, oh, um, I didn't. I didn't put proper chat on. Not top chat. Live chat. Oh yeah. Switch it. Boom. And then this. And then. Oh yeah. Chris Bishop. Intro. Okay. <laughs> And we are live, I believe. Hopefully, we are live. Welcome, welcome, everyone. They'll let us know if the uh, if, it's, if it's not sounding good. Sure, they will. Welcome to the voices. new Ohm Show. The new Ohm Show, Wee. episode one of the new Ohm Show. Do not panic. Um, to start with, things aren't going to change too massively. Uh, John will be here every week. Uh, we will have guest guests every week as well. But we'll have some regulars too, some old faces that you will uh, immediately recognise uh, will be popping up as well. So uh, do not panic, sit back and enjoy. Uh, as said, we've got John from Just Hello. a Pick, as always, right. but we're also joined by Paul McCartney from Vape Don't Smoke. Hello everybody. He's there. He's there. I can never well, get that. And we've got Aidan as well, just below me. I'm not doing little, that wave what he just did. He's, yeah, little brother. Like, I'm, I'm in the in the round window. I love that. It's <laughs> big. You've got to do it. You've got to do it's, it. It's Hi. my kids' TV training. Uh, yep. Yeah, so we got Adam from a little brother vapes as well joining us. So let's just crack on. Let's just crack on. Uh, let's find out what uh, everyone is vaping and drinking. Um, we well, better go to huge first, John. Oh, what I mean? What are you vaping? What are you drinking? <laughs> Uh, what are they thinking? Oh, I say, yeah, I am going it's just my normal stuff, actually. It is crack current at 50 milligram because I'm lazy in Dewar 16 on top of a Smock Guardian 3. Uh, shaky bruise, shaky apple, um, 50 milligram in the billet box with uh, which cause oh, the inner king coils in there. And uh, pain you are actually saying 50 milligram, are you? Yep. Yeah. Jesus. It's salt. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's salt. You eat salt. It makes it a lot better. <laughs> yeah, that means all the well, it's, it's, it's not as throaty. It's not as throaty. Yeah, 50. It's fine. Um, yeah, that's what I've got going on. What am I drinking? Um, I'm drinking a gift from uh, an Omi Keith Jones. He popped in today. But I'm going to try and pronounce it. I think it's, I don't know where it's from. Boro Sar. Sacas a cell. I don't know. Show us the bottle. Eleanor. Eleanor, like that. Mm. Looks quite Ooh. fancy. That's from one of his beer clubs. Um, it's also meant to do with chili. You like the chili in it? 5.3%. I haven't tried it yet. I'm right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. What a character. Yeah, that's nice. That's was it like a blonde beer or what, what is it? Um, I assume it is, actually. It does. It's got a. It is a blondie taste. Uh, barley malt, wheat malt. There might be a malty kind of bit. It, everything on it is in Spanish. Or oh, well, you've got no it's... chance, have you? <laughs> or, no. or. <laughs> Apart from the ingredients, but I don't know what that means. So, yeah, that. Someone will know in chat. People do. People know stuff like that. I don't know stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to go Aiden. Aiden, oh, what are you vaping? Thank you very much, thank you very much for having me on the show. Um, and what have I got? I've got this obviously janky bit of stuff. It's actually quite a good looking bit. It's from Famo Vape, um, but it's very janky. Listen to the buttons on that. Ooh, that's <laughs> old school, isn't it? <laughs> that's proper janky. Uh, I've, on top of that, I've got the Mark Tank from Sigeli. It's 30 watts. Uh, I was saying to you before the show, absolute corking flavour from it, and the clouds are good enough. <laughs> but it's very loud, as you can hear. It is it's very loud. Bad. And in that... I've got though. some just juice, three milligram though. <laughs> There's no fifty milligram going <laughs> on. Me doing that. Um, and my other one, I have got the Pal Pro. 
Uh, I'm testing these obviously for review. And in that, I have got some 20 milligram Nick Salts and I've got some um, double drip in there, 50 50, double menthol, a nice bit of menthol in it. It's all right, the pile in it. It's, yeah, I like it. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> obviously, they've changed the actual pod itself. And the one, normally when they send me one over, I get the three mil. But the one that they sent me over is actually a two mil, which is, I can't understand why. So anyway, it actually comes apart. So I've took it apart at the bottom, and then I've clipped the little bit away so I can actually make it into um, three mil. So you couldn't do that on the other pod. You uh, can do that on these. You've got to show that on the video. Yeah. Just clip it apart, and then you can clip it, and it turns it into a, into a three mil. Um, and like normal, we're not on the vodka. People who know me, I normally like the vodka, but I thought I'd take <laughs> it nice and easy being on the uh, the new home show. We're on the Guinness. A bit of the black stuff. Nothing wrong with Guinness. Oh, I love the stuff. I'll know about it in the morning, but I'll pass that straight over to Vape Don't Smoke. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm not a fan of Guinness, to be honest. Oh, I love a Guinness. Um, yeah, I like a Guinness. Yeah, 3 what? 1. <laughs> yes, it's always nice when you get three stuff. Oh, what, doesn't it? I want my Vapor on. I'm Vapor on All Trusted. Um, I've got the Crown 4, and it's on my Invader 4. I mean, this is pretty much my all day setup all the time. Uh, I'm Vapor on some G1 Tangerizzi. And I've also got the little Anakin Podden rocking and rolling here with some Macca's RY4 from the Juice Cabin, six milligram. Uh, so yeah, that, that's about all I can do as far as Nick goes. Um, and I've got, I'm hitting the, the, the real classy beer. Um, I do have a red stripe from Ooh, Jamaica. Jamaican. Uh, so yeah, we are rocking some red stripe, which is... Pretty embarrassing, but yeah, it's 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 what they had. So. I don't think I've ever seen it in anything but a can. Yeah, no, I was that's, that's that. a bit stubby. It comes in a little box that you can kind of carry it about with six of these in it, so it's quite cool. But uh, yeah, what you percentage know? is red stripe? I don't even. I don't ever even tasted it. It's um, about five point two, I think. Uh, four point seven. That's a little bottle. Yeah, it's all right. Then. It's better than it's not like a three or something. You get it in all the kind of clubs in Glasgow. Uh, so when you're you're out having a really good baby, you always get a can of red stripe. Um, <laughs> they put it in a plastic cup for you because we're not allowed glasses in Glasgow clubs. <laughs> so you're jumping about with a plastic cup. Next to your book fast. Next to the book fast bottle, yeah. <laughs> never tried that either. I've heard it's very medicinal, but I've never tried it. You know, see if it's in the fridge and it's freezing cold. It's it's If you get down the neck, then it starts to become quite good. I mean, the first few mouthfuls are... Oof, you put some hair in your ass, so they do, man. Pud Puff uh, at Expo, um, and another review, a great lad. He, he introduced me to it. I, I've, I've never really been into that book fast. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> apparently there's, different, there's different actual numbers on it as well. So if we get a yeah. lower number, it's supposed to be a bit stronger. What? Yeah, it's at the bottom yeah. of the barrel kind of thing. Oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's actually you know, made by monks in Kent, I think, and they bring it all the way up into Scotland. Yeah, absolutely, monks. Um, monks make it absolutely. That's that's definitely true. But... Yeah. What are they doing? Powering a car with it on the way up? <laughs> Whatever's left in the tank. Okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's over to you, Richard. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. I forgot about him. I've got the brand new mod from Nigel Moxon, the SVB, the brand new one. He's gone all metal. Metal casing, oh. all fancy colour and that. Uh, all new internals. Lovely, strong magnets and stuff. All fancy, clean internals inside. It's absolutely rock solid. You know, like a lot of these nicer stuff sometimes have that feel a bit fragile. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, this is absolutely rock solid. Uh, yeah. Really sturdy, really nice, really nice, well done, really well done. Is it uh, a full mech, Richard? I can't remember on that one. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's a, it's a fully mechanical, yeah, a, a proper traditional looking one as well. Nice. Um, yeah. What's the, what's the paint finish on it like? Is it really good? It's, it's, it's incredible. It? Yeah, it's incredible. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's powder coat. It's like a, a really posh, this is probably an incorrect uh, simile, and Nigel will probably cross, but it's like a really, you know, a really nice bike frame. Yeah. Like uh, the, the, the really nice bikes have 
<laughs> I'm well, saying that, even, like, they like don't, I've they been don't... on a bike in the last 20 years. <laughs> they, well, don't, yeah. they don't, uh, you know, it, it feels almost, you know, you'd really have to give it a good go to get a scratch on it. I haven't ridden them, but I do like to touch them outside the yeah, car. Sarah Coat finish, it's Tony Parkinson in chat, uh, catches that one. But yeah, really enjoying that. Crazy small as well, uh, you know, as I showed you on the side, it's a tiny, tiny, tiny thing, little squonker, but feels really sturdy, like you can out and about with it. And so, yeah, really enjoying that so far, but uh, early days. Um, got in a slightly obscure match, I've got uh, my MPV5 with uh, the tank that comes with the Nunchuku 2. They're um, getting quite the following now, aren't they? Mm. The MP5, MPV, yeah, that. To me, they it's look just, like something 1950s, don't yeah, they? Proper retro, isn't it? It the, does, yeah. Right back to the old-fashioned box. What, what colour are you going for, Anakin? Oh, cream and purple? Cream yeah. and purple. Yeah, yeah fine. fine. Proper retro. It's like, you'd have to smoke for 30 years to get your wireless that colour. <laughs> um, that is, that's a Bose around somebody's house. Yeah. <laughs> this Bose stereo. And now mm. about 5,000 Marlboro. I like um, it. Still using this. Still really enjoying this. Um, Auto Squonker, the um, IPV Auto Squonker with the EE technology. I really like it. I think it's great. Absolutely loving that. Uh, inside, I've got Pistache. Nice. And that what's the other one? The other one's the breakfast one, John. Uh, can only be breakfast. Can only be breakfast. Uh, there's my two juices at the moment. And as um, spotted in chat, um, I've been called a lout in chat because I'm drinking a, a Danish pilsner called uh, Carlsberg. <laughs> Carlsberg. God, we've got red stripe and Carlsberg on the red same channel. <laughs> yeah. That's the, the classy did, did, did you taste any of that from, was it Alexa who had that Belgian beer? That was absolutely corking at Expo. That oh, was yeah, that big one, wasn't it? One, wasn't it? Yeah. What was it called? Oh, someone told me. What really, really of... good. Remember, you poured a pint of it down me. What type of beer was it? Is it, a, it was a Belgian know. beer. Yeah, but or a lager. Oh, a lager. Oh, a lager. I'm not really a fan of normally, but blondes. I just, they don't taste anything. I don't get this, it. Too. This just had a really nice, obviously you like your IPA, don't you? Your, yeah, yeah. Your, your brew dogs. It sort of had like the flowery sort of taste of that in there as well. It was nice. a, and it was quite strong. There were quite a number of people wandering off the stage and he spilt it down himself. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the one with the pink pig in the logo. I'm not sure if that helps you. Um, pink pig in the logo. Oh, we, we have got Belgian viewers. So uh, if, if Peter or Elsa from PC Coils is watching, stick it in chat <laughs> what that is. Pink pig. Pink pig. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a pink pig in the logo, but it was really good. <laughs> Although we were half, you're half pished already. So, I mean, it could have been <laughs> You know, it was... You know, it's a bit free. Well, that's, that's what expos are for. Four yeah. o'clock at expo, that's you know, it's it far. At least we shared it out at IBM. Richard, James, and I shared it out. Uh, James and Richard got annihilated on Friday, and then I don't remember anything after Saturday about two o'clock. <laughs> no idea. Friday so turned I, into a really big sesh because it was really sunny. Yes. So it was just sat in the square of. Uh, where was it? it, is, it is, I always feel sorry for somebody who watches the one of us, you know, any of us reviewers, uh, or like you know, people on YouTube. So I'm not a reviewer. People on YouTube, and then they bump into us at a show when they and you've already hit the pub. I just feel yeah. bad for them. Like, oh, especially, boy. If you, especially if you sort of like got that cotton mouth as well. Yeah. <laughs> I love. The... I think Andy Andy Fairchild's got it bang on. Delirium tremens. I think is. I think that oh, is okay, exactly cool. it. Oh yeah, I've heard of that. I've seen it. It's got an ele elephant on. Is that an elephant? I thought it was a pig. That's oh, what he was no, saying. After he was drinking it. Is the it's elephant pink, elephant pink at least? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's it. It's an a pink elephant. That's what nice I mean. Same one. thing, you know. That's all right. I like that drink, actually. Okay, cool. Right. Uh, we'll just very quickly say I had to chat. Everyone's in chat. Kerry's in, Derry's in, Stuart's in, Juby, Cuz, all the regulars, Richard Jack, Ibby is in, Ali is in, Andy Fairchild, who has a headache, but he's here anyway. That's commitment. Got the vaping um, postman in as well. You've vaping postman TVP BVP. in the house. Yeah, I'm sure I saw, I saw, saw Mobro as expensive. well. Uh, yeah, Stuart Drummond, a lot. It's uh, yeah, very good. Uh, so let's. So basically, we're just going to run through some segments, and the first one, we're going to have a quick look at the uh, the news. So let's do that. <laughs> Right. <laughs> That's it. 
that's that's that. Is that, that's the, what that, that is. Yeah, we've looked. Damn, haven't you? The, 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 what? Uh, right. <laughs> yeah, we can't see that, so we you just can't go see with the Richard, interstitions. Richard's eyebrows. Uh, <laughs> you what? You feel just... like you're waiting for something really yeah. bad to happen. Yeah. Well, one of my videos that I made on a hoof not working was the <laughs> that right. look of fear. Uh, John, I've, what's I've got... uh, which new story do you want to pick on first? I was going to go with the Guardian because it's by the man who called us irreverent when oh. we had our old show. Uh, this is Simon Osborne at the Guardian, who ran with a decent article this week. To be fair, have you got it up? Yep. Uh, so he, the headline was "Up in Smoke: Are We Wrong About the Dangers of Vaping?" <clears throat> I'm going to kind of skip along the article as, as much as I can. Yeah, just sum it up. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to give you just the sub headline. Since vaping became popular, a popular alternative to smoking, the big tobacco companies have been moving into the market. But do we know enough about the risks? Inside a laboratory in suburban Southampton, a corporate display board includes a portrait of Parousius, the 16th century Swiss father of toxicology. It sits above the most memorable adage, all things are poison. The dosage alone makes it so. A thing is not a poison. That's quite true. It's not bad, actually. Um, and he actually, with, with, with BA, with, he was with British American Tobacco, and uh, wrote a thing on it. British American Tobacco are shitheads, if everybody's wondering. Um, but they have got a lab and they've been testing all manner of things, uh, possibly doing a bit of favour. But he doesn't let them get away with it. Uh, and it kind of goes into um, the American problem. Uh, here we go. Uh, some of the headlines this week have been e cig danger time bomb, vaping horror stories. A decade after e cigs went on sale, we are now in the grip of, depending who you talk to, a major health scare or a moral panic. <laughs> Alarm is even greater in the US, where 42 deaths from respiratory illness have been reported among people with a history of vaping. Um, do, 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 do. What's the gist? The gist is that. Uh, as we've always said all along over here, the BMC reckon it's fine. Um, health, uh, health England, public health England, public health England have said it's fine. And Simon Osborne, who thinks our old so, show was irreverent, says it's fine too. And, and so, so he's not he's provided some much needed balance. He has, but he also balanced it and aimed it at also. Whilst talking to BAT, he did mention how many people they've killed worldwide whilst he was there. Uh, and mentioned in the article, which I thought was fairly good, to be honest. When you're standing in a lab and somebody telling you it's really sad, you've got to kind of say, yeah, 200 people die a week because of what else you did. So I thought yeah. that was quite good. Simon Osborne. Um, Do you sort of find, though, with, with these sort of like, you're getting all these stuff that's coming out in the papers and you've got Health England that's backing it and you've got all these other people, but there's always a mixed message, especially in, it's this country that's obviously been the forefront of it all. Wouldn't it be nice if they just came out completely and went, look, this we're back in vaping. We're saying, look, this mm. is right. Um, we've tested it. We're not saying it is safe. We're saying it's 95% safer than actually smoking. Let's back it. Let's make sure yeah. all the hospitals are backing it, that your doctors are saying all the same sort of things and your social services and things like that instead of having little bits here and there. It's, it's, it's about time that they just come out and backed it completely. Yeah, the, I mean, that would have to come from the political side of things, really, that would require MPs to front but up, really. But they it could, they it could tend to from, just tr try it and could stay come as from a page, It possible. could come from one publisher, couldn't it? If you think of, I mean, it's never going to come from the likes of uh, the Express, the Times, Daily Mail, and Co. But it could come from somebody else, like the Daily Mirror, could, could possibly do that. Just say we're not going to do negative anymore because there is no point. Yeah, but they're all driven by clicks, and Absolutely. the horror stories get pl clicks, don't they? It's yeah, the headlines, isn't it? Vaping mm. kills another, and then you open it up, and it's got nothing to do with vaping yeah. at all. Um, I don't think it's actually the media that's got to do it. I think, like, like, like what Richard was saying, it's got to come from the government, and it's got to come from these health organisations that are gonna push it and say, "Look, we're we're actually standing by it." Because, like you've just said, one minute we'll have a great bit about vaping in the papers and saying, "Look, or the news, it is ninety-five percent safer, it's saving lives," and then two weeks later. Somebody's put a load of money behind it, and you've got all the horror stories. It's why in in the in the in the groups, if I've ever been admin on a group, I always ban both positive 
links and negative links. Neither. Don't post either. Because totally agree. They will fucking do it again next week and they'll swap it. Don't fucking trust them. I don't want to see the link. If you do a screenshot, I'm happy with that. I have no problem at all. Don't post it. Totally agree. They only, they only do it to get hits and then I'll flip it and do it again next week. It's and the totally thing about it, it puts it up on the analytics as well, doesn't it? So yes. it's, the more you click on it and, and think you're helping by sharing, you're not. Like you said, just take a screenshot of it and then post it. Look what we've, we've, we've found. Yeah. If we've got, there's three and a half thousand members on the new own show group. That's three and a half thousand people who didn't click the fucking link because you don't need to. It's bullshit. It annoys me when it's up, or when it's on the BBC. <coughs> it's riding high on the um, popular news on the app. It's such a pain in the ass because it just sits there. And I know in a day I'm going to get a few people. My mum called me the other week and she, her opener was, "You're not killing people, are you?" And I thought, "What?" <laughs> she wasn't talking about the serial killing. She was talking about vaping. So I was like, "No." The, the, big, the biggest ca- casualty of the headlines a few weeks ago in America was vape shops, I think. Massively, yeah. I think yeah. attendance across the world in vape shops just went down. But it didn't, in the because I was talking to um, a friend in Europe yesterday, it didn't do that in the UK, because I think we're slightly more critical of the press, critical thinking of the press, and try to take it well, apart a bit more. I didn't, didn't see a fall. Well, did you not, we'll did you not obviously bit. you've got a show, but did you do not find anything at all and no more like a kick on from it all? No. I, I've spoke, I've had quite a number of shop owners on, on my shows and they've all said that they've actually found that there has been a little bit of it, like a kick on from the US um, where people again, like what you've just said, your mum phoned up, they're coming in, is this killing me? Or people have gone back to even smoking. Yeah. That, I mean, it, I, it's a really. I live in a village in the middle of the sticks, and the shops in a village in the middle of the sticks. So perhaps it doesn't happen. And I got a couple of people say, <laughs> "Did you read that crap?" And I, I said, "Yeah, yeah." So it was never. It wasn't the thing. I don't. I don't really get the whole. I'm going to go back to smoking piece either, though. I mean, <laughs> it's like, well, you know, that's killing people. Yeah, that's even even if it, it's it's <clears throat> up in the air. It's it doesn't make any sense to go back to smoking. It's just madness. <laughs> Um, I, d- I don't know. Yeah, I agree, Paul. I think it's it doesn't make any sense. I mean, but when not... I, I will say, I do remember back when I was a cigarette smoker, there wasn't a lot you could say to stop me. <laughs> I wasn't asked. Somebody would say blah blah blah, and I go, "What? Really? <laughs> Fucking hell!" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I didn't give a shit. I You've got to think about it as well. They never even used to put carbon monoxide on the side of our cigarettes. They only did that abroad. They never had carbon monoxide that it had them on the side, did it? <laughs> well, there wasn't carbon monoxide till you lit it. So they were all right. <laughs> think, yeah. To me, fair. If you just bought them to suck them, they're yeah, fine. Right. Uh, What's the next one, Tom? We're going back and we're going to America. We're going to go with Massachusetts because there's been a move in the last 24 hours, actually. <clears throat> uh, I know John Nathan over in Massachusetts, was at, actually outside this yesterday. This is the headline. Massachusetts to ban menthol cigarettes as well as flavoured vapes. If signed into law, Massachusetts would be the first state to ban all flavoured e-cigarettes and tobacco products through legislation. Massachusetts has moved a step closer to banning all flavoured cigarettes and tobacco products, including menthol cigarettes, amid a national push to contend with the risks of vaping. The state Senate followed the House late Wednesday in passing a sweeping ban, which, if signed into law, would make Massachusetts the first state in the nation to bar all flavoured vaping and tobacco products. Other states were said to be closely watching the outcome in Massachusetts. Then it goes through uh, the how many people have died from vaping, none, uh, tobacco, no, none from vaping, um, nicotine. Uh, and it now goes to the governor, uh, Charlie Baker, um, a Republican. Uh, he has not said whether he's gonna sign it yet, but they are, they, they are strongly suspecting he's going to. I know there's another protest happening because uh, Massachusetts is what, six hours behind us. So I think there's going on as we speak. Uh, all power to them. They were there outside in the shitty weather yesterday uh, with the uh, with their placards, and there was there was there was a lot of them shouting, and a few of the senators asked them, actually came up on the balcony to listen to them shouting. Uh, but it looks bad. I would say Massachusetts 
may have fallen now or it's going to fall in the next four years. John, you might be able to set, uh, explain this to me a little bit. Which The bit that yes. I can't understand is, is how can Trump come out and say that he's going to stop the um, flavour ban and how can then a state go uh, above him and say that we're still going to do it? How does that work? Uh, because he hasn't said that. His his spokespeople have said he might say that. That's very different from him saying it. Um, uh, you have the if he, if Trump says it's nationwide, but the, the but states can make their own laws, as we know with gun control. Uh, I, I had a little look on the because I knew this was coming up. I had a little look, and they were saying that they was holding it off, but um, it did actually say that um, it, they can only hold it off for about a week. Because apparently this is what he, I'm only going on what I've read, yeah, yeah, is that Trump has come come out and actually, or he's coming out to say that he's not going to um, do the, the actual the, complete blanket ban of flavours. They don't know. Nobody seems to know what he's going to do. They, yeah. they, they, it does seem really up in the air. He, one of his spokespeople hinted that he wasn't going to do that, and they were talking about the split between vaping and e-cigarettes. <laughs> Trump is... That was what the, the, the that was what his spokesperson said that the president would like to split e-cigarettes when he's talking when he says e-cigarettes he's talking about um, uh, do, 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 convenience stores petrol stations the, the real the real problem is and vaping <clears> states can do what they like they always can have yeah, yeah. unless yeah. there's an actual federal thing that says you're not allowed to do that they can do what they like. Yeah. So Jack, Jackie McGuire on chat says it's like Scottish and English laws. I mean, I, I, when if I was to drive from drive along, if, I think it's like if I have three beers or something like that, I can drive in England, and then as I cross the border to Scotland, I'm illegally driving. You can drive two. You can basically two. yeah, but two, yeah, you, three, you three, you're in Scotland. The, the, unit, only the one. unit level's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So like you, you could be driving the same road, you're legal, 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 and then you cross the border and you. Um, the greatest country in the world. I think they've changed <laughs> the age limit though now, where you can't have a beer at all. Into if you've only just passed your test, you can't have a beer at all. I think. But you can't. The reason that's never changed the unit thing in England is because it's impossible to having a zero alcohol content because you could get it from a lot of things. It's not even worth talking about. You get it from air from a breath freshener. Mouthwash. That's why it's never it's never been zero. Because yeah, well, you you always carry mouthwash, isn't it? Mouthwash. I was yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It smells like Jack mouthwash. Daniels. But, yeah, Jack yeah. Daniels mouthwash. <laughs> but you can't get over the limit with it. That was always the way they did it, is to try and avoid um, it. But it, it, it's an interesting point, then, but it's going to be um, the one of the things it's going to do is take up Jewel because in Massachusetts, their, their most popular pod, their most popular pod initially was Mango, which they withdrew from sale. And they and they and then they and they had mint. Um, and they, there was a hint that it was going to be banned federally, mint. So they got rid of it uh, only in the last couple of weeks to, to, to introduce a menthol, as predicted on the old Idea Loan Show. And uh, now that's just going to take out that. It's right? <laughs> a big loss for your best pod to go in, away. Uh, another oh, thing we were going to, sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah go on, go, go on in sorry I was just going to say obviously you're a shop owner as well um, it, it, how bad is it if Trump does does come in and sits down there and goes right we're going to stop this this flavour ban all them poor people who have had to shut the shops down it's um, disgusting yeah I totally agree they've, they've had to just put the keys away in a week and, and completely probably ruin their entire family and then he's going to then say no it's okay it's fine so many times on the show we've kind of hinted about this. There has been a really shitty thing across Facebook in vaping. Well, not in the yeah and no. There has been a bit of it. Uh, the people being smug about the vaping laws in the UK when people have got no job. Uh, I, I've got no time for that at all. I just think, do shut the fuck up because it could happen to anybody. You know, we can, everything can flip yeah. that fast. Don't laugh at, the, at somebody. And, you know, that we all worked... When the TPD came in and when we and everybody was happily reading it and we were trying to look for can we work round it, can we work with it? And <coughs> the reason the TPD, the reason for short fills, the reason that tanks do this and you can pull blocks out of that is because of the independent industry in the UK. It's nothing to do with anybody else. It's, it's to do with Wally's on YouTube telling people do this. Uh, uh, and when we can get around this we can push forward and being belligerent bastards that's how it got there and i really hope that there is the us get that space to move yeah yeah 
Another yeah. thing we were going to cover in the news, sorry, uh, was vape tube. You, Ed, and you know a bit more about this than me. It's all passed me by, really. But um, I noticed that loads of content creators have pulled their content from vape tube. I never actually signed up. So what? What's gone on in like a in a nutshell, really? Well, if you know me, to be honest with you, I don't. I don't really go around with the drama. I'm not that type of person. Yeah. I just get on and do my reviews. That's what I'm, I'm sort of like. So it, it came to the point of. Um, Certain things came to light about vape tube, and um, a, a number of us who was the reviewers on there didn't like what came to light. So we pulled our content from there. I'm, I want to be honest with you. I was one of the people who, who was first on there when he first started the platform. Um, and uh, my personal gripe was it that I'd been on there posting my videos for a very long time. And I'm not saying that we should get free shit or anything like that, but things used to pass me by. You know, like I tell you what, you were sending out to somebody else or somebody else there. And you'd be constantly uploading your, your content to keep it going, and, you, and you'd, you'd put the stuff on your videos to promote it. <clears throat> so my personal thing is I, I actually found out that other things were happening underneath it, and um, I didn't quite like how I was being treated. So me personally, my own right. reasons, I just stopped posting stuff, and I dragged my stuff away from it. Right. I never got massive views on it. I think I had about 15,000 views um, in, in the whole of it when I was there. Yeah. So... But like I said, I'm not a massive drama queen. I don't get involved in other people's. I've always been one of these people, Paul will tell you, if you don't do anything wrong to me, mm. then I don't do anything wrong to you. And I'm, yeah. I'm trying to stay friends with everybody. But with the um, the vape tube sort of side of it, my personally was I just came away from it um, and took my content out. Right, right, cool. So, yeah, that I suppose that was always the risk, wasn't it? Like, if with YouTube, even though they've pulled the money and they've pulled this and they've restricted this... At least they are a kind of a big corporation, and there's that security within that, you know, that they answer to people, they're responsible for stuff, they've got a legacy, haven't they? I suppose that was the risk with VateTube that <coughs> it was only a few people, and if they were, yeah, if they were not willing the, to do the, it that the, way. the actual idea of it is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I think yeah, it's, it is, it's, yeah. it's really wonderful. Uh, I, I think it's a different platform than than actually YouTube. Um, and please believe me, it's nothing to do with free shit. I, obviously, I'm not I'm I'm not new to this game. I've been around for a little while, and I had to pay for all yeah, my yeah, stuff to get here. And it, when I first ever started, and I was helped out with loads with Paul. Um, so I'm not a free shit hunter. <laughs> it's just obviously when you sit down and you're looking at, at other people are getting, you think, well, can you support me a little bit? I'm supporting you. Um, yeah. The cameras, and you know yourself, the cameras, the lights, the, the the computers, the hours that you sit here don't come for free. Yeah, it's not free, is it? It's never no. been free. I've never understood that. If it was purely about getting vape gear, you'd just get a part-time job, wouldn't you? Of course you would, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Just, you could buy a new thing after every shift. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's crackers. So, yeah, so that's... So it's potentially, so it potentially might carry on then it's just the, yeah the, the I, there might be a chance creators. somebody else no, maybe no. taking over or maybe he, he might work out the bits that he's done i think the idea of it was absolutely fantastic mm. there was a lot of uh, issues with the actual program working and there was a point where there was we were going to be able to have a, a live platform also he was going to give a little bit of ad revenue as well um to people who was putting stuff up there you know to help a little bit as yeah. well and th that never came about either yeah it's a big it's a I, big undertaking though isn't it for smaller company to have that kind of I think, technology. To be honest, I mean, let's be honest, the, the vaping review industry is very much a shouting, 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 and then five minutes later going back on it. Whoever, you know, just never, no one's ever to review for Vupu again, and everyone does. <laughs> and it was, you know, there's Vape Around magazines, the worst in the world, and now it's the greatest thing ever. And it's, I think there was a whole bunch of them. So I, I think if, if if vape tube sleep keeps going, I'm sure that the main fences and it will go back to normal again. But um, but yeah, there's an awful lot of hastily hasty reactions in the the vaping world. Because that's that. It's always been like that. It's always yeah. been that kickoff thing. To be honest, I'm a stubborn fucker, so everything I've ever said, I just stick to it. Whatever. <laughs> I'm, just yeah. it I'm, I'm saying. I don't care. I'm just a wanker. <laughs> no. Fuck off. Why don't I talk to you again? Right. Since we've got you boys on, we're going to do, after the news each week, we're going to find out a bit more about you guys. So, what what did you, well, take it in turn. So, Aiden, yeah, yeah. what did you smoke? How much? How long? How? What was your first kind of introduction to e-cigs? What was your first proper e-cig? And uh, 
Yeah, yeah. Well, when? We need to know the when. Yeah, when so and, and times and all that. Well, I, the, I first, uh, if you're going for me first, when I first ever started, we're in 2006. I was oh. actually, it was it was in, in a petrol station and you had um, like a black cigarette that blew up, uh, glue up blue at the end. You didn't have any nicotine. It was just like you had low, medium and high. And the reason why I did it was because the actual vaping ban came in in Wales first. And I was gigging down in Wales. And I thought, what am I going to do? Smoking ban gonna... came in in Wales. Put him. The smoking ban came. Sorry, in yeah. Wales. Sorry, yeah. Sorry, the smoking <laughs> ban. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm not going to fucking it's, Wales. The, the, the smoking ban first come in Wales. I should have said Massachusetts. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it first come in Wales um, in 2006. So we were at a petrol station. I think it cost me about eighty odd quid um, for this little. T- yeah, really dear. And they, they're just little cartridges. So, yeah, that's when I first started. And then I carried on dual using for quite a while. And it used to just dry my throat out. And then I went on, obviously, like the, the little pen designs with the cartomizer with the little wicks that come down. And then obviously your battery had run out and you had to carry about five or six with you. And then you'd, you'd be getting a cigarette off of somebody else. And yeah. I, I always smoked uh, Embassy Filter. Nice. I didn't like yeah. them big king, you know, like the king size your mum yeah, used yeah. to have, you know. <laughs> I used to just like... No, so there's, there's, when there's, the... there's filter and then there was king size, then super king. Is super that. kings, yeah. Your nan had on the go. Yeah. <laughs> it took you about six weeks to smoke, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I used to think it always looked cool that you had a cigarette that were a little bit smaller. You only got down to there in your side of your mouth. It looked a little bit cooler. <laughs> um, but I actually started on cigars. Nice. Oh, wow. And, and I, I, I tried smoking at school and I didn't quite like it. But it was when I started drinking, 18, in the pub, and I, I quite liked a cigar. Oh, the Hamlets? Yeah, not the little Hamlets. I used to yeah, love them. Yeah, yeah. They used to have them in the bar in a tent, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. So you just and, get and one and that's, pint and one Hamlet. that's where I first started. And I, my first device I've actually still got, it was an I, IPV. It's over there. IPV with a, 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 Spy, a Nautilus. No, not Nautilus. A Spire 2. Was yeah. it a Spire 2? No, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it was it the Aspire too. So you've been you've been vaping yonks. Yeah, I wanted to call you a noob, Dan. I 2012 for me, so you beat me. So what year did you get into reviewing? Um, I first went on. I had a mini stroke um, in oh. 2016, and it was all like a big big slap in the face, <laughs> you know, <laughs> completely. But um, so no, Mark no. was my brother. Now, if you don't know, my brother is uh, Solo, um, Solo yeah. which he was an absolute fantastic reviewer. And um, he was on last of the summer vapes on the Vape UK network. And one week, I'd stop that. Mark brought me loads of different devices, loads of juice. And then one week, Adam, who was great British vape, said he couldn't make it. And he asked me to come on to it. And I went, yeah, yeah. So And I just stayed there for two and a half years. <laughs> um, so it was like the January afterwards, 2017, um, I started uh, nice. reviewing. Nice. Does, does Solo, your brother, still have a show on a Thursday before this? Yeah, he was on just before you on the Ohm show. That's uh, 7 o'clock every Thursday. 7 o'clock every Thursday, Ohm show. Check it out. Perfect pre-show before this. You're knocking about. Yeah, corky. Um, cool. Right, Paul, I think we've done yours before, so do it quick. <laughs> yeah okay um i used to smoke marlboro lights um uh, i like that i like the marlboro light i actually quit smoking on the 3rd of march 2014 i've still got oh, the app, still got the app. app. how and much money have you saved 2089 days i've saved apparently i've saved <laughs> 3134 pounds well that be your eyes done uh, well, that, he bought well, he's bought three houses in Scotland for that. Yeah, <laughs> and, his, and a conservatory. <laughs> um, but yeah, my, my first device, my, my friend used to work in one of those cash generator shops, and I went down just to see him on my day off, and he was working, and they had these eye back eagle pens, and I had seen one of my people in my work had had something similar. So, uh, fifteen pounds it cost me. I bought some diamond mist blueberry, uh, twelve milligram. Still going that, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, and I got some uh, the eye backy things are still going on all as well. Mm. I've seen them in the post office, uh, but I bought some RY4 from Hang Sing, uh, and that was me. I, I said that t- tomorrow I'm going to start, I'm going to finish this packet, um, and I did. Perfect. I just went for it, just uh, just just stuck to my guns. And I actually I didn't think it was that hard because I was getting everything that I needed. I got the nicotine kick, I got the finger stuff, you know, and I had the vapor coming out. and I thought I, agree. I, I, I was I dropped I 
like stopped just yeah. one afternoon just stopped um, I had a bit I had a few wobbles but like you know weddings and stuff like that when your battery dies and stuff but the, right, so when the battery you, dies yeah. that's the I get going back to what Aiden said, Karen. I mean, I remember, I, I remember the first device I had. I had two batteries, uh, uh, what the ego, but they were like that big, and I had two of them a day. And then I had to go and buy, and I bought a bigger one that's got a variable knob on the bottom. Oh yeah, you just it. fucking batteries falling out of everywhere, who are fucking out, and they shorted out like bollocks. Well, after that, I upgraded to the Kanga Evod variable voltage, and I, I did that after watching. A review from the fantastic Scott Bonner. Yeah. Um, and he reviewed it, and I had to get one, and it cost me a lot of money. It was 45 quid or something. Yeah, they were there then, weren't they, kids? Um, but it was great. And then after that, my first box mod was the MVP2. It was a full kit. Came with a little tank, and it was the oak one. So uh, I thought I was pretty, pretty cool dropping about with a wooden sticker on my mod. But uh, <laughs> yeah. You were, you were cool. I was cool, and I, you know that was back when no one vaped. Everyone looked yeah, at you yeah, like, like an what's alien. That? You know, nowadays it's just a done thing. But back then it was like, what's that? But there was oh, an advantage to that as well because the amount of times I got away with vaping in a pub when I'd say, Can oh, I absolutely, vape? and they went, yeah, fine, yeah. absolutely. You used to be able to vape in a pub. Now the, we went ahead and got ourselves too cloudy. Now you can't do it. Yeah. You know, if we just we went ahead and ruined it for ourselves by all these subtle mesh. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Well, right. I'll tell you what we have, we've just been sent out for review is the uh, Snow Plus. It is a pod system, by the way, unfortunately, but it is actually vapeless. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's actually vapeless. I'll, I'll open this. To see, see. And that's it. That's its selling point. Yeah, they've also come up with a caffeine one as well. If I can get it in this box, caffeine it is, is it? It does you, work. You, you can't inhale caffeine. It doesn't work. Yeah. But the body, the body doesn't it, really absorb caffeine. It doesn't like absorb it. Well, it's, it. they're saying it's a, a coffee vape with caffeine in it. Yeah, um, caffeine. I, I'm, I'm not very that massively technical. So it's, it's really against know, the TPD. As well. but you, you, you've just told me caffeine is against the TPD. It's, it's stated in it. You're going to fire is it? it. Yeah, not allowed to. So you, you've got obviously it's a. You do get like covers for these, but you can see that it's actually you can see vape, right? So I don't think it's working right then. If we can see vape, oh, look at that! Sazam! What is it? A hundred percent PG? <laughs> I ain't got a clue, but you can feel it. You can actually feel it. This is a nice cola, and you can actually feel it going in. It's sixteen milligram. Oh, nice! And the only point of that is to do it in something. a pub or something. Mate, that's I was quite happy when they sent it. I was like, yeah, oh, I'm really happy. happy. This is great. I like the way they went with we got look, listen, we've made a new device, inconspicuous, no vapor. <laughs> Jeff, what colour should it be? Have we got an illuminous shell or <laughs> yep? <laughs> Sat there with bicycle clips on as well and maybe high best. Part of the quitting process is still seeing that vapor, smoke come yeah, out, you know, the vapor come out, you know. Obviously, if you if you're a seasoned vapor though, and you, you wanted to do a bit of stealthy in cinema, or if you want to, sit, which I'm not saying you should do, yeah. or if you're in a hotel room, as I always see, cinema would be perfect. Church. But on your head, be it. <laughs> right. Yeah. I think we're into new stuff, aren't no, we? No, we need. We very need to. Oh, very. One more question. This is the juicy one. Oh, go go go. A couple of eight reviewers in with us tonight. Best and worst thing about reviewing. In oh, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> uh the best thing uh for me is the the kind of community that you can build um last christmas for example we raised nearly two thousand pounds for kids at christmas um it was, it was just a charity thing basically where we did raffles and that and i was able to give that to a charity foundation called um second chance scotland and um, basically what they did was they gave um all the presents to ch children that were going to wake up without any presents in christmas day I wouldn't have been able to do that without Vape Don't Smoke Facebook group, the, the YouTube channel. Um, I mean, we've also, you know, there's about five, about five and a half thousand pounds we've sent over to the Cat and Dog Home and Cardonald as well. Um, you know, it's less public, that one, but, we, you know, we, we, we sell some stuff and do things and, and that gets over there. So the whole point of that wouldn't have happened without Vape Don't Smoke. So that's my favourite part of it. Um, my worst part of it mm. is the just... I mean, you get a lot of grief, you get a lot of drama, you get a lot of kind of 
bone stuff. Sometimes you can't be bothered doing it. You know, mm. you sometimes wonder what the point of it is. But yeah, I mean, you when you're loaded with the cold and you're getting emails chased and all that kind of stuff. But kudos for the charity things. What about wicked? Yeah, it's good. always awesome to hear that. Um, yeah, I mean, Rick, Rick Whittle puts it quite well. He goes, best thing community, worst thing community. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't listen to him. <laughs> uh, to be honest, with you, I, would, I would agree as well. And it is. It, the, the community is is absolutely fantastic. And it is, is one of the, the reasons why I love it. When you all get together at expos and stuff like that, when you all meet together, and with Richard as well, it's just really nice. The community can be so fantastic helping out with charities, stuff like that. And when you meet up with people, it's absolutely fantastic. And then you've got the other side of it where you, you get the drama side of it and it absolutely, I hate that bit. <laughs> um, and like exactly what Paul said, the, the times when you sit down here, a lot of people I think... I like it people, as long as I'm not in it. Yeah, yeah you like reading <laughs> it. Never yeah. in it, Richard. Everyone yeah. loves you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the, a, lot, a, a lot of people have said that. <laughs> he paid a lot of money for that. Yeah. <laughs> Give me shit. But the fact that people, um, people you just press record and it all happens, it's, it's not like that. Um, I, I can do I can do 50, 60 takes. I, I really? Speak really, really. Oh, easy. If, if my mouth's not working, and, I, and I've got a tendency to just ramble about something that's nothing to do with, with the device at all. And then I think, right, well, why did you still not? So start again. <laughs> start again. I, I always want take. He does, but Richard, you can tell true. with mine, though. Because Richard does one take, yeah. The fuck up saying that. I don't, I don't, I'll just write a comment. Oh, that was bollocks, by the way. Yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't. Obviously, you stick a. I don't. You do you? You don't actually stick jump cuts in yours, do you? And uh, try not to. Yeah, my see the way mine. I do mine. Uh, obviously, I don't do the up and closely table cam. I do mine where I'm talking, so I remember what I've actually recorded the up and closely, and then I impose what I've already done. So yeah. sometimes I actually forget which way I've done it. Around yeah. as well. I've always wanted to try doing it like that. Just it because takes you're a bit more, longer. A bit, you're a bit more clear headed, though. Yeah. Yeah. Paul cool. well, always sticks the Mickey out of me with that because he does the same sort of review and his takes like 25 minutes, and I do a review in like nine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, as you've got, you've got a, I mean, Paul, you've got a, that you've got. I know you've got a big community with the vape don't smoke, and um, Facebook is like the best and worst thing about the community, like it, it, in the in a really nice way. But I know, I think, yeah, like my, I was doing something on my phone the other day because I always think it's really important that nobody feels left out, and I was, I was doing it. So I, always, I always like react to people's posts and. Um, my wife said, you react to everyone's post. And I said, yeah. And she went, on Facebook. And I went, no, <laughs> in the group. I wasn't going through my news feed going, well, yeah, if it's your nan's <laughs> birthday, it's your nan's birthday. Good. Love. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be mad on normal Facebook. Yeah, yeah I'm not doing that. My Fuck dog's it. dead, lol. <laughs> <laughs> Although that has been, te- not with dogs, but it has been tempted some- when someone does a very dramatic Facebook status just to. Yeah, let's get that one. Um, I, I, you won't believe what sort of day I've had, and then we just leave <laughs> dot, it. Yeah. Dot, 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 sad dot, face. Dot, dot. Yeah, PM yeah, me, <laughs> That's what it is, isn't it? Yeah. You've always got that friend who straight away first PM me, let me know what's happening. Yeah, right. and I'm thinking <laughs> I'm that right time, I'm thinking, PM well, me. don't PM her. Yeah. Start putting it down in the comments. I want to know what's happened. <laughs> but I'm not asking. I'm not asking, no. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, I'm not getting involved. <laughs> Sally, when Karen's PM'd you, PM me. Right yeah. Right, uh, we're going to look at some new stuff. Uh, let's roll the intro for new stuff. New stuff and stuff. Done. <laughs> which, which <new laughs> Sorry, guys, you've just got to sit in silence. Wasn't that? But uh, it's all good. So we're going to look at some new stuff. We are obviously missing the beautiful James, who often yeah. brought us the new stuff. But we're going to try and show you some new stuff in spite of uh, James's absence. Um, so, first thing we can look at is the Dang RDA. Oh, that this is, is, is the Own Boy and um, Twisted Messes. Yeah, uh, picture on screen. Own Boy and Twisted Messes, possibly an unlikely combination. You usually expect to see Twisted Messes, you know, doing his own thing. Or, But, uh, yeah, so here we go. I've got a picture of the deck on screen. Do you want me to read out the description? Yeah, go for it. Okay. <clears throat> From the minds of Twisted Messes and Own Boys comes the first posterless clamp RDA. I think from them. 
Every aspect of this RDA has been evaluated and tuned to their style of vaping, from the 11 mil juice well to the 7 mil deep zirconium clamp system. They designed this to be quite simply the best RDA ever. Um, okay, it, it's a 24 mil RDA with a locking top cap, 11 mil juice well. You knew that already. I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, oh, 7 mil deep zirconium. 7 mil deep clamp system, uh, 304 stainless steel construction, peak insulators with an 810 drip tip, squonk and the non-squonk pins, extra O-rings and a, a little, you know, the tools. Uh, yeah, like that and the tool, a little one of those little funny tools. Uh, I think we've got an RRP in the UK of 59.99. It's a good looking thing. I, yeah, I saw it at um, Expo. All um, yeah. oh, right. It, it, he showed yeah, okay. it to me. It's actually on my, on my blog at what I did. Um, he wouldn't show the deck actually on the on the vlog, but he showed me the deck afterwards. Really, really nice deck, and and it's very very simple to build on. You, obviously, you just got the clamp system. Come on, you've got your two um, little um, group screws at the side. When I found what? it, I said I, I did. I kind of I, I said to Richard Oboy, and then uh, they've, they've come together, twisted messes, and uh, and which went what. Why they, they come together? And I said, yeah, but honestly, I think you're going to like it because I think it's your style of thing, Richard, to be fair. Is it designed? You know, design, you know, is it the designed actual so instruction? Mesh, you can Sorry. put mesh in as well? No. No. Because it looks mm. like you could put mesh in. No, because of that cut out in the middle, you can't. Right, right. Who's because making that, it? That tough, People it? saying uh, I mean, it's, you it could, sounds yeah. a bit pricey in chat, but that's kind of the going rate for a goon esque, you know, yeah, the goon all, price range. That uh, we always get careful with the low, mid, and high. I'm going to put the, it. The recoil was that price. Yeah, I'm going to put it in the mid. Yeah, sorry, it's um, high, top high airflow high. as well. Yeah, decent airflow. It's going to be well it made. Looks really well made. Um, they did put, you know, the actual um, bit that you get in the box, you know, the, the instruction manual. Really funny that they put on there was uh, that they've all now, after the, they've got like £50 million pounds from, from releasing this, and they're off to a, a desert island. <laughs> Kent's got loads of sunscreen. And, he needs uh, it. Own boy's I mean, got loads of like He's one of the whitest powder. men on the planet. He definitely <laughs> yeah. is. It was quite funny. I like that. I can see, yeah. Kent is minted, but not from doing the odd RDA every now and again. Um, yeah, uh, Andy said it's no Skyfall. It's totally true, but it is half the price of a Skyfall. It uh, it looks, it's perfectly logical, isn't it? The airflow is logical, the clamps are logical. You put re you can clearly put beefy coils in there. It makes sense to me if you're, you know, if you're a cloudy vapor, it looks looks all right to me. Massive juice juice well as well. Yeah. Seven mil squonk squonk. So if you yeah swank in. What day am I? Is it? Uh, 26. 20, 26. Did I say 26? 24. Sorry, sorry. 24. 24. Oh, classic. Yeah, classic cloudy, squonky RDS. It's exactly what you'd expect from Twisted Messes at Own Boy. I, yeah, they're builders at heart, aren't they? Yeah, so it's what, it, it, it's what you expect. 50, um, JB is saying 50 to 60 quid. Well, that's exactly what it is. 59 that's exactly, pound. Yeah, exactly. That's, and that's, that's, the, that's the going rate. If you look historically at those kind of designs. That so, is what it does is. it does it say know. who it's actually made by? No, no, yeah, exactly. Okay. So the recoil was like that, and that was about that price. Yeah, um, I'm not saying... by Orgs, babe. Uh, I don't know. He doesn't it, say who's it, making it. It probably it's not got their branding on, but it possibly could have been, you know, mm. type yeah. thing. Uh, so the next I'm item is the Sunbox. John, you know more about this than me. Right. Right. So the Sunbox Zero Borrow is the name. Sunbox Zero Borrow. So they've used the Borrow from the billet. Uh, you get pictures on the screen. Is it the actual one? Could you grab one out of your billet and put it in there? Yep, right, right in there. Yep. Um, so they've used the Borrow, which quite a few people have done recently. Use the Borrow from the billet yeah, box. Yeah, it's a really hot thing to do. This now. has got the Die Codes Extreme V3 board in it. 50 to 60 watt with, a, with one battery adjustable why do they keep putting the plated thing? I don't understand that. Adjustable um, 510 threaded pin, adjustable battery discharge level, 2.5 volts to 3 volts, which is the die code chip, up to 12 volt output voltage, up to 20 amp output current, temperature controlled in vaping mode, mechanical mod mode. I really, really want that. 10 power boost modes. 10. This is all the this is all the board, to be fair. Uh, board, 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 reverse battery position to the board. Uh, versatile, easy to use memory. Yeah, it's all the board. Um, it's made by Sunbox. 
Um, from what I've heard on the grapevine, they are going to include a free uh, first class uh, returns package. So you can send it back when it inevitably breaks. Because it will. <laughs> Which is, I think it's good. If you know I thought you were going to say a holiday with Thompson's then. No. <laughs> it's, it's made in Italy, so you know we're going to send it back when it breaks. Um, I don't know why they used to borrow. Um, I, it's the me, thing to do right now. Everyone is throwing their own... And I think it's great in, together. instead of making something that looks quite nice, they've made it really ugly. You see, we disagree different. on this. I don't think it's that bad looking. I think it is because I know are oh, you gonna send it back. So I it's one of those things. <laughs> What's the being bottle sat here going, we can't see it, we can't see it. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah, right. Here we go, here we there go. We go. Look, 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 look. We'll go. Oh, well, well, that's just me. Picture of me. <laughs> that were you in a skirt. In a dress. That's just me in a dress. Yeah, look at that. There we I go. think the real picture, the, the one I, where, where I really don't like it, is face on with the borrow yeah, there. Yeah, but that's without the door on. Yeah, absolutely. I uh, just, it, it, it's such a pillar of a thing, and the drip tip ends up nearly central. What's the battery it? situation? It's 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 one eighteen six fifty. Mm. So it is changeable. Yeah. I mean, the problem the problem with that probably you would say is <laughs> why not to get a billet box? That's my issue. Yeah, I do know how much it is. It's four hundred dollars. I was going to say, normally their stuff is is 200 plus, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's $400 and you can get a billet for that with yeah, all the bits you want. Yeah, that weights, as, as said in chat, looks ugly. Quality, quality will be shite and the customer service will be even worse. And there you go. I, That's a heck of a I don't, I don't mind the look of it, but I str I'd struggle in a direct comparison with a billet box. I would. I just didn't understand why they did it. There's lots of people working within. If the it had box. more battery life, if it had more watts or something, you know. The difference it... they've got is they've got the die codes board, which are, is a fantastic. I mean, it's a real sort of utilitarian board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, they're found, they never break. It mm. never goes wrong. You set it, you leave it, and, and it works. Totally agree. But yeah, you can get. Sorry, uh, Mark's just said in chat, Mister Toddlington has said it's eighteen five hundred or eighteen six fifty. Are your two choices and it might not come with a borrow <laughs> uh rendering it useless uh so uh <laughs> that's it is what it is up. it is it's that high-end vapor thing it's four hundred dollars if that's your budget i'm gonna do hands because that's what people do <laughs> yeah uh, it up. I don't know. Uh, uh, well if it's budget it's... hands on four hundred dollars <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> For anyway, four hundred dollars, I'd, I'd want something that's a good looking damn thing. Me, I want it to have four wheel. I'm just gonna, I'm just, <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna take yeah. a drag. I'm gonna take a drag on my three year old, never been returned bullet box, billet box, and uh, see how it goes. No, it's still fine. That's fine. I was since we're on my channel. I think we've we've been fairly thorough on that. Since we're on my channel, I will actually show you what's next up for review over the weekend. I'll be putting a video for this. This is the Widowmaker RTA. Uh, it's a big RTA. <laughs> it's ginormous. It's it, it's it's really big. It's five mil capacity to be fair. Six mil with bubble tank. If I do the old eighteen six fifty comparison, it's uh, it's pretty much the same length as an eighteen six fifty. So um, if you've got a mod at home and a battery, just put your battery on top of your mod and see how that looks. Um, when are you doing that, Richard? Th this weekend. I'll do mine tomorrow then. Yeah, yeah. Do that, <laughs> and, <I'll, laughs> and then I can just say what you say. <laughs> uh, uh, the Widowmaker RTA. So yeah, so they did the Widowmaker RDA, didn't they? Um, and that, that went down well. Its USP is that it's kind of dual airflow. So you've got your airflow at the bottom, and that goes underneath the coil, and you've got your airflow on the side, which goes in traditional to the coil. So you can tweak how you like it, um, and it's very very cloudy. Put very very big coils in there, and it's yeah, it's big. It's a big tank. I don't know how they're going to TPD this. Um, <laughs> Uh, but uh, it's big a plastic. big cloudy, cloudy affair, and uh, that's next. That's next on the channel after this. Uh, so yeah, so stay tuned for that. Uh, let me check my uh, little notes. Oh, this is no, a... not like a, a shameless plug, there, bro. Is it? Yeah, no, no, well, well, the it's 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 not too shameless. Fair, it's this channel. <laughs> Can't we all go around that? Hey, <laughs> we'll do yeah. that. Yeah, 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 we'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're we'll gonna do that. that. Yeah, we'll do that. that. Yeah, big style. We'll really okay. ham it up. Um, <laughs> right, we've got we've got a little bit of fun now. We've got a new feature uh, that we're gonna call "Tales from the Group." Roll intro. <laughs> Tales 
Tales from the Group. Now that's a long intro. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, so this is Tales from the Group. Each week we're going to have like a little a little topic in the group, and uh, we're going to feature it on the show. This week we're talking about vaping mishaps, horror stories, accidents. Uh, Aidan, have you got anything that springs to mind like a vaping accident? <laughs> uh, incident? We actually spoke about it before, didn't we? I think a lot of us have done this um, where we've had the RDA. You thought you put your top cap back on and you haven't, and you've gone to vape and you've burnt your lips. Yeah, I've done that. I've got, I got about that far away and suddenly, because you know you press it just before you. And I went, yeah, oh. I've, I've got, I've thought, of, yeah, bang. That's why he's got a moustache. But I've seen, I've seen people with like a full on. <laughs> I'm just going. Uh, Paul, have you had any any incidents? Accidents? Yeah, yeah, I had the um, the Camry pipe, the first one, uh, the little eighteen three fifty battery version, and I put the battery in the wrong way, pushed the fire button, and boom! Oh, uh, I was like, why is there smoke coming out here? You know, <laughs> that was way more of a problem back in the day than now. Yeah, that was that was before all these fancy reverse battery protection things and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it was. It was uh, it was quite smoky, but I just kind of flung it down. Because it, it, it even took Evolve till the DNA 30, didn't it? To actually yeah. protect against reverse battery. Yeah. used to be just your board was fucked. And, and you were done. And it was like, oh, yeah. I accidentally did this. And everyone in the forums just went, it's done. Yeah. That's not a mod anymore. <laughs> what was the what was the drop-in? The Evolve, they used to have a drop-in for mech mods. I can't remember what it was called. Someone will help us. Oh, the oh. Um, kick. The kick, I blew, I blew one kick one and two kick twos. Yeah, that, upside down. You said <laughs> you said you had a vaping accident, John, that you wanted to tell us about. I got about fifteen, if you want. I go on, fired, go on, hit us with you. I've fired hot e-lick into my eye twice. <laughs> ah, I don't do that. Jesus. And um, as soon as the vertical coil started coming out, uh, the, the, when they were crap, but they were vertical. Um, you know that thing of hit hit a button and, and wait for it to kind of get going kind of that well no you hit the button no noise oh what's that and there's actually because there's a point one of a mil in the coil and i kind of went like that went to vape it shot myself in the eye i did it before vape jam once the most painful thing in the world is 12 milligram e-liquid at 10 mile an hour in the eyeball done that um did they go away after a few minutes, or was that a whole? No, day? it's about tw- it's about twenty four hours to thirty six hours. It's firing hot helix in your eyeball. That, that's gonna hurt. It is fucking horrible. I said twice. I've done that. Um, what else would I miss? Yeah, I don't want to do that. I'm sat yeah. there blinking, thinking, God, yeah, yeah, really that's it. the last thing. Um, a fan of the old vaping, uh, the old, old ideal home show. <clears throat> we were talking about uh, we were going to Expo one year and Dean the vaping biker said uh, if you want extra stickers extra vinyls what you want to do is lick John on the forehead that was like it would just like a bit of a joke and I said don't well, after the show I said don't do that Dean because people are I'm not that big and people are, are, are you can easily grab hold of me and I'm not really a fan and he said oh, I'll be all right um, 10 minutes into Expo, someone ran up behind me, picked me up with their arms around me. Um, I weigh about 11 stone. The chap who picked me up weighed about 17 stone. I'm 5 foot 10, he's about 6 foot 4. He fractured two ribs on my right hand side when he picked me up. Um, so I got fractured ribs for the weekend. Oh no. But did he lick your head? He, he asked if he could, and I said, I, I didn't want to tell him, I felt it go as well, and oh. I didn't want to tell him he'd done it, so I didn't tell him for about three months. So I thought, if he didn't mean to do it, I wasn't trying to do it uh, And I signed all this stuff for him, like going, I've got broken ribs, but just went through it. Uh, broke my ribs again during the show when I leaned out too far on my chair, on the same thing. <laughs> Did it again. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Two broken ribs, blinding myself to ice. Ribs being broken are absolutely terrible. And you can't it's sleep, can you? Because you can't it. move. It's awful. And the weird thing is, someone did it to Mark Todd two months later. They did exactly the same thing. Uh, I ran up behind him at a show, picked him up, broke his ribs. And and I I couldn't find it funny because I knew exactly what it feels like. It's horrific. He's not actually that small, Mark, either, is he? No, No, the chap who picked him up is even bigger. (laughs) He's a monster of a man. I don't know, Dan might be watching. Got some classics on the group. Go for the classic. There's a few that like just reoccur, reoccur, reoccur. I think they'll just forever exist in vaping as accidents. Um, this is quite a good one. Andrew Walls 
uh, vaping while going along the M25, hit a pothole and split my lip open on a metal drip tip. So he's literally gone, boom, boom, like that, smash. I've seen people smash teeth as well doing that. that yeah, Robert thing. Perkins has got his front tooth missing because he hit it with a metal drip tip. Um, another classic, Thomas Buckley says, I managed to find a tiny offcut of 0.4 canthal within my big toe. Uh, yes, it went all the way and took some manipulation to squeeze out. <laughs> Lego bricks have met, met their match. I've done that. I've stood on many I've of them. I've not done that. I'm really, it's usually self inflicted due to laziness, isn't it? You know, like if you just, you're usually quite careful, but then one snips and just goes, you don't even bother looking for it and then <laughs> yeah. find it in your foot a week later. In the shop, I don't. Cause well, to be honest with you, I close my eyes as well. You know, when you actually clip it, because I've seen loads <laughs> of people where if it's, I close my eyes and do it. Yeah. You know, with the coily tool. Yeah. I, I, I just, I, I've started just grabbing the both ends now just to stop that. So it's not to worry me. Um, uh, David Childs has got a classic as well he put a, a new Atty on a mod he'd already been using so ended up having a 60 watt vape on like a 1.2 ohm coil, that's a classic that's the ultimate dryer in it a half to long coil at 60 dope. watts uh, Joseph Wright noisy cricket uh, vented batteries because he broke the button uh, <laughs> he had to throw it out of his skylight <laughs> That's the last thing you want a noisy cricket venting on you. <laughs> yeah. Absolute classic. Um, loads of actual ones where people have got finally got their prize possession, but then skidded it across a car park or that kind Ran of Ran it over or, or something. There was quite a good one. Daniel Williams, who managed to get a piece of canthal in his face mm. and didn't realise, he thought he'd got an ingrown hair. <laughs> and every time he shaved, he was trying to get it, but couldn't get it. And then he realised it was a piece of nychrome. Sat in his a, face. And he got a pair of tweezers and pulled the piece of nychrome out of his Ooh. face. K kudos, Daniel, for <laughs> Jesus Christ. Though. How many how many Mac 3s are you going to go through trying to <laughs> shave some nychrome? <laughs> <laughs> Sod your missus nicking it. That don't matter. We're trying to shave nychrome. <laughs> <laughs> nychrome out your face. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you what, I've got one for for you four as well. Have you ever gone out on a night out and you took, which you shouldn't do really, but took an half decent mod out and then when you've come home, maybe a little bit worse for wear, thinking, shit, I've left that mod. Yeah. Yeah. Mine's restaurants. I always put it down by the salt and pepper shaker and then piss off. <laughs> and then I'll be halfway down the road and run back and go and get it. I, I always say, I take everything I own comes out of the house. I don't do the thing of trying to preserve stuff. I don't care. There was... Um... Craig tricking you into stealing a breakfast. That's vaguely vaping, vaping related. Oh, I suppose <laughs> that was quite funny. I was staying in a hotel. We were at Jam, and Craig, who used to be on the show, he said, you coming down for breakfast? I said, yeah, yeah. And I came down. I could see them, but they were like round this bit, round the corner. And he said, ah, oh, there's that bollard thing. I just move it. So I moved it, and I sat down. And he said, I oh, just get your own breakfast. So I get my own breakfast. I ate it. it was quite nice, actually. It's like buffet thing. I ate um, Orange juice, a couple of cups of coffee, eggs, bacon, all that stuff. And then he said, you're going back into the show? I said, yeah. And we were walking down the road. He went, you just nicked that breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> and I went, what? And he went, you're not supposed to go through there. He said, I just thought the room was a rip-off. <laughs> so I thought, well, if John steals his breakfast, it'll be funny. So he just, yeah. You can <clears throat> there was a classic years and years ago on the UK Vapors Forum. I can't remember who it was, but it was a regular contributor on there. He was DIYing some juice and he spilled 100 mil of 100 mg nick, uh, basically on his private parts. Oh, Ooh. and uh, it suffered the consequences. That's a that's that. a christening. <laughs> um, I mean, he shouldn't have been mixing up juice in only his boxer shots. And, and I think <laughs> if you can take anything away from this show. Well, to that, be honest with you, I'm getting on a little bit now. He probably wouldn't have touched it. He'd gone straight to my balls, to be honest. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think the balls were the, the main issue, to be honest. <laughs> oh, I think they terrible. went a different colour. Um, that's going to sting, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So the real problems with vaping are the little offshot, off shots of wire, nicotine juice, driving and vaping. That came up a few times as well on the group driving along at 70 and then something goes wrong you know 
Uh, that came up a few times. The other one I will say is back in the day, see, it doesn't really happen. A building on a mech and you forgot to lock the switch. And you push down. <coughs> you go, yeah. Oh, my God. And then you realise it's on when you've got the picture of the you've got a picture of the coil on your thumb. Yeah. <laughs> I've a couple of times I've I've done Not on a mic, but I've done it before. When I've been when, when I've been building and the camera's in front of me and I go to kind of build on the mod and I go to move the mod and I hit the fire button and I'll, oh yeah oh yeah I've cut I've cut myself really badly twice doing the download section on a review yeah and just left it in <laughs> but like but there was a there was an RTA about a year ago. That was just really sharp once you took the barrel off. Yeah. And it cut literally just two like paper cuts almost. And they, they just really stank for ages. Um, um, but uh, I left that in. I really like that on RP Closey, just blood dripping. On <laughs> it, it didn't, it didn't, <laughs> cut, it didn't cut like that. It was weird. It didn't, yeah. It was very <laughs> aesthetically they're, they're the worst type of cuts as well, aren't they? It's oh, not the ones that you got a great big gash down it. You can sort of like stick a plaster on it. It's them sort of like papery cuts that really do mm, stink. Mm. I'm yes, a man, weird. I can take it. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. Uh, so that, that is that's this week's Tales from the Group. Thank you. Thank you to everybody. I just saw Daniel Williams saying that his, his missus is now taking the piss rigorously for his ingrown hair that he was trying to shave on his face. <laughs> but thank you for everybody. Yeah. They're really, really, really great. Yeah, it was really good reading all, all week, actually. Um, and I think a lot of people, most people, have done the old touching a coil, assuming it had cooled down by now uh, yeah when clapton's first came out i because clapton stay hotter longer don't they oh yeah. and i thought it must be cool enough to put the cotton in by now I touched it and it literally left, left an exact print of a clapton on my phone <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah so we've all, that, we've all been could, there, you could have probably. you could have started a trend <laughs> yeah. what you're using yeah like uh one of the Brand. like some sort of prison thing yeah. we all mark each other with a clapton coin <laughs> Uh, so, I'm yeah, with you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right. That, so, right. As you said, as you correctly said before, we do need to give. Uh, we need to give you guys the big plug. Where can people find you normally? On the YouTube's and all that stuff. Go on, Paul. You'll need it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Vape Don't Smoke um, yeah you can find us on my YouTube channel Vape Don't Smoke <coughs> Facebook groups called Vape Don't Smoke and uh, my Instagram is funnel enough Vape Don't Smoke yeah Twitter is Vape Don't Smoke you've nailed it you, yeah. you don't need to uh... how easy is that he's got yeah. them all he he's got, got them all you've, you've obviously all. thought this through yeah, it's not fake yeah. dose smoke one forward slash. No, no, no. Ninja. It's no. fake dose smoke. You be fake dose smoke. It's um, a, it a good name to be fair. I, I did actually try and find uh, Richards as well, but it is his mod pictures on yeah, Twitter. Yeah, mod pics. Originally, <laughs> yeah. before I started reviewing, I was just going to do a Twitter account. I think it was pre Instagram existing. So my idea was I was just going to put some nice pictures of e cigs on a Twitter page, just as somewhere to put them. So I just call it mod pics. Mod pics. Um, yeah, that's about on his channel. I was trying to find it, and I couldn't find it. I know. Aiden, let's hear your info. Oh, yeah. and Paul, what's the next thing you're reviewing? Yeah, uh, the I think it's going to be the Lost Vapes updates to the Orions, the, the Orion and the Q Pro Ooh. Orion Plus. Nice. I'll probably do them together, to be honest, because they are very much the same thing. But yeah, these things. I don't know if I'll do them together. I don't know. What is it? Sorry, the Q and. It's the Q Pro and the Orion Plus. Mm. Um, so I think they've got more airflow in them, different coils, and I think that's it, really. I'm I still sure. I still really like that form factor. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's been copied to death now, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Um, well, but I, think the, I do think the original and best is the prettiest of the, the lot, to be fair. It's um, a shame they were slow with the remote. What else is on your Q, Paul, very quickly? Um, we've got a bunch of things. We've got the Vapor SO Swag 2 kit. I've got the Podden from Anakin. Fuck me, that looks like a Pico. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. Exactly. Oh my it's, God, yeah. It's, it's so last year. Um, yeah, it really is. But it's a single 18650. Uh, well, whatever. Which, if it works, it works. I'm not taking the pick. Baffles me. Um, I'll finally get the E Leaf um, one done, the, the T80, Richard, the finally. Oh well, that's fine, man. The tank's yeah. alright, isn't it? It's weird looking, though. Um, and I've got the—I don't know what this is. This is a nugget aisle. 
thing. But it's got an RBA with it, which is cool. And I've got the new Anakin Zenith and the Takit tube mod. Nice. So I'll be doing that over the course of the next couple of weeks. Very good. Very good. Very busy. Busy, busy, busy. Aiden, tell us about the live show. You can check well. me out on, on Facebook and Twitter, Instagram. It's all Little Bro Vapes. You can go and check me out. Please drop me a sub. Um, I, I'm not as elitist as Paul McCartney, obviously. I, I get stuff like this. Look how lovely that is. Mm. Is that vape presser? <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's famo vape. I wish you'd sent me a different colour. It's uh, plastic fantastic, but yeah, we've got a little bit of that. They do look exactly like that. <laughs> is that the magma? Yeah, the magma. <laughs> I think I got the I got one, and it's. I, I tell you what, I do like this one as well, but, but the the buttons are just all janky. Mine's just look white. Oh, your yours is nice. Mine's mine's sort of like proper think, pinky. I've never I, taken I that out. I could probably crush it in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got the I'll tell you what we have got up the, the uh, NOVAP the version 2 coming up uh, out for review we've got the new Segeli coming out as well uh, we've got some more plastic, uh, plastic fantastic the uh, Vatio Hubble X with cool their screen hey, do you know what what's it look like whose screen does that look like smocked yeah probably yeah a bit more smocky um, I was thinking more um, eight. Oh, sorry, you didn't see that, did you? Let's move that across. Look, there we go. Ageist. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Touch screen, plastic. The, the actual tank's actually quite nice. It's called the Grim on there. Uh, we've also got the Pal Pro coming out as well. Uh, we've got we've got quite a, quite a number of bits coming out. So yeah, you can check me out on uh, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all on Little Bro Vapes. Is that is your live show from Little Bro as well? The, yeah, it is yeah, Little Bro yeah. on a Wednesday um at eight o'clock. You can catch us with the Simon Mr. Coily and the Salford Vapor. Also catch us on the Sabs show on on a which obviously you know quite a lot about that, Rich. On a on a Sunday yeah. at eight o'clock with the lads. Yeah, I like that show. I do watch that show. It's cool. Good Richard, um, what have you got coming up? Very cool. I'll make it sound like you're not promoting yourself. It sounds like I'm doing it. <laughs> um, I, I, I keep I keep a small queue these days, as people know. Uh, so I know it's because <laughs> you're shit at snooker. <laughs> what? Oh well, no, that's just because of that side wall that's really close. To oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so you have to do that. Uh, I got the, the Widowmakers next, as I've said. That'll be at the weekend, and then next week, once I've got my head around this, um, I, I love Nigel dearly, so. I don't know if it'll be an impartial review, but I'll definitely give this a really good look in a standalone video so everyone can see all the details and all that sort of stuff. So it'll be kind of a showcase review type thing. Um, You'll send it to me. And then I will send it to you, Paul. Or maybe, maybe give it away on a future show uh, because that's the plan, I think. But, uh, but you're very much entitled to enter that competition, Paul. <laughs> I love Nigel's work. He's really yeah, really cool. absolute. Um, I think we we was trying to work this out. Uh, 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 not last expo, the one before. We think he's the most prolific UK mod maker on record. Yeah, I think he is most mods sold by a UK model. So there we go. So yeah, and he's earned it as well. Uh, so there we yeah. go. So that is uh, that. They're the only two main things I've got coming up that I'm fully aware of. Uh, so there we go. So that's that. Uh, is there anything else we need to do? Oh, we need to say yeah. thank you for tuning in. Whoa, whoa! We I need that. to promote just that, Nick. If you're all, if we're all, yeah, of course, go for it. Great, right. whacking Great, ourselves right. off. I'm gonna have a go as well. Yeah, quite right. Uh, <coughs> I got... might get, might make an intro for Jan News. Jan News. No, there's only a couple of things. We've got cool. a restock coming in from PC Coils in Belgium. Peter and Il are sending some coils over as soon as they've got over. Frank, not oh Frankfurt, I keep saying that. Hamburg. I keep getting mistaken with hamburgers and Frankfurts. Uh, <laughs> oh, um, uh, and uh, we've got our new supply coming up very, 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 very shortly. Um, hopefully, when Mark has sorted himself out, we will have some more crack coming our way. I can't tell you. He's got a new release coming out. I'll hopefully, we'll have it before Christmas. And then you'll have a new crack that's not quite a crack. Mm, exciting back to you in the studio Richard 
exciting times exciting times so yeah so we do want we did want to say in all seriousness uh thank you for coming over coming over to the new show um obviously we do have some plans for it we're building up to it it was a very short time between the last one and this one uh so we do have some more things to throw in uh next week we have got the guy the very noisy guy in chat will be on the show uh Riyadh is coming on uh with uh our old our old favorite Brad from Phobic Mods as well a previous Omi uh is coming on so it'll be Brad and Riyadh next week um but thank you very much for coming over showing your support giving it a try thank you and uh, and all that stuff uh but mainly thanks to these guys as well for, yes. for coming thanks, on thanks Paul and, and Hoping, thanks Aiden. Oh, yeah, to get you back on if possible yeah, oh, absolutely. Anything you want, man. Anything you want. But thanks very much for having me on. It's always um, it's always nice to, to talk to you guys. Um, and again, I suppose that goes back to, you know, what's the best thing about being a reviewer? You know, I've, you get to meet people like you. Richard, yeah. you know, we're good pals. We meet up at Expo, you know, John and, and Little Bro. So uh, there, there is a good side to it as well. So thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Yeah, thank it's you. always really good to see you guys at Expo. Honestly, really, thank you very much. Especially being on the first show as well. It's been absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I, I did think a little bit earlier on, obviously, like my show is like a Yorkshire council estate. And coming on this show is like I'm in a four bedroom semi in Boreham Wood. So it's, uh, I feel <laughs> Sli sliding on market. You're definitely singing next time. That's, that's for sure. Exactly. We'll, get, we'll give you a song next time. Definitely. Brilliant. Awesome. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. And we will definitely, definitely see you next week. Oh, smash that like button. The rules haven't changed. The rules of YouTube haven't changed in this week. Smash that like button um, or else people will die. <laughs> <laughs> Grab the puppies. <laughs> yeah. uh.